All right. This is just the worst. I'm, I'm really sorry, folks. I had this really cool setup, super computer setup, and I couldn't figure out the encoder thing in time. I'm sitting here letting everybody wait. So I'm very, very sorry. And we have to change this a little bit. So it won't be a knife review, really. I'll let you look at it, but it's kind of, yeah, I'm barely live. I feel embarrassed. Been trying to wait for this all day. Hey, Peach. I appreciate y'all waiting around and stuff. So I was going to look at a knife and I was going to discover it. And this is a knife I've had for a while. Oh, I'm sorry, Pete. I know you waited up and I apologize. All right. I'm going to get better at this, I promise. So this is what I wanted to look at in a better, with a better camera and stuff. Let me get some light over here since this isn't going to work. All right. Let's see here. All right. I got this back in April or back in March, and I really haven't let y'all have a look at it too much. This is my Dimco AD10 with the Damascus blade, and I kind of wanted this to be my first live review on this knife, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's just not going to be as awesome as I hoped it would be. So we'll look at this with the one-handed review until I figure this out. Hey, Nate, glad you showed up, and thank you, Carbuff. I appreciate it your patience hey Eugene good to see you all right so if you check out this blade it's like the other AD tens we got one two three about three and a half inches right three and a half inches of that Chad Nichols San my Damascus and it's the XHP core Damascus on that you can see that Yeah, I'll be terrible. Next time I won't be able to speak English, I'll do it in pig Latin. Uye, ot a, ise, I may, ifne. Okay, so this is actually a custom Demco. See if I can do this on this camera without chopping my finger off. Yeah, three and a half inches is nice. It's pretty good. Doc in the hizzy. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Marshall. Appreciate that. All right, now it's got this contoured and buffed out carbon fiber on here. Uh, let me show, show you some more of this blade here. All right, you got a nice swedge on the top there. The mask is in some really nice patterns. Now there's one floating around on Instagram, and it's like this one. And it's got the gold hardware. Oh, it's so awesome. It makes me angry. But, so this is like his silvery cousin here all right so you got the andrew demko stamp here yeah it is it's pretty sexy this is probably my favorite knife as far as non-sentimental favorite knife in the whole world check out that i got that buffalo horn skull on there at least that's what they said on amazon it might be made out of plastic so i don't know let me taste it real quick yeah it tastes like buffalo horn all right so you got titanium liners got that andrew demko lock can't call it the triad unless you want to be sued by cold steel. Yeah, the blade's really thick. And if I had an extra hand, I would show you how thick. But like I said, it's got the XHP core to it. So you don't like the backlock. Why not, Brian? What's up with the backlock fear? We're not fear, but dislike. Or is it fear that led to dislike? That's that's what happened with my mother-in-law. I mean, fear leading to, well, maybe it was the opposite. I don't know. All right, let's check this out. It's really smooth. It's a one-hander for sure. Like a lot of the cold steel and Demco's are. You can just drop it as fast as you need to. Excellent lanyard area back here. Titanium backspacer. I need it. I would, man, if I had another one of these, I'd probably anodize it. Nice wide Demco titanium clip like the ones that come on the 4Max. Hey, I'm going to put this down here. Here, there you go. Can you see that? A little shadow. Nope. All right. Stream close up. I'm going to get something out here so we can compare it just size wise. All right. And there you go. That's the 4 Max in comparison to the Dimco. So, or the 82. A little bit bigger. The 4 Max is a little bit bigger than 
that. Yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you're saying as far as it being fiddly. Yeah, per, compression locks are the, awesome for fiddling. And kind of what sold me on the PM2, of course. I'm not going to take it to the chopboard test, but I am going to slice up some brisket with it. Oh, good, Peter. I'm glad we're together in this. All right, there's my custom 4Max. If y'all or somebody asked for the four custom 4 so it's kind of similar in size. The 8010 is like a 80% of that. Maybe that's what 80. I don't know. Probably not. 80 probably stands for Andrew Jenko. You're a dummy. Okay. So that's the cut 4 max in the carbon fiber. A little bit rougher carbon fiber there. All right. So like I said, it's got that triad Andrew Jenko lock, locked up like crazy. You know, if you need a pretty knife to take out in the woods, something like this, this thing's never, ever going to break on you. And it's never, ever going to let you down or give you up either. So you're good to go there. It's got some cool jimping here. You can get your finger in this choil here for a little intricate work. So this is kind of what I wanted to do, but I wanted to do it in a better way with the other camera. I got a camera set up and went and got a camera at Best Buy and everything today. Fornication. Hey, Farty, how's it going, sir? This is kind of drop shutty. I just can't show you how drop shutty it is. Watch. We'll do it from right here. See? See, it dropped right on my finger there. It would drop all the way. But I understand. This one's really drop shutty. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, slap. Now, you can put your finger in the wrong place there. You're looking at your ligaments and bonal tissue. Bonal tissue. That's medical medical knowledge. All right, so let's see. But will it run around and desert you? See, that's the whole thing. It won't. That's the thing there. It won't. Oh, I didn't see you say Axis up there. Yeah. I can't believe Axis came out of your lips there. Yeah, it will never, ever give me up. All right, so that's the knife review. It was just going to be a short one and a way to get to talk to you guys. So I'll move these over here to give us something to look at while we speak to each other. All right, I'm coming up on my two years of doing knife videos. I think the 15th is my two-year anniversary on here. Simba. And so I'm going to do something cool for my two-year anniversary. And I also want to talk about the channel and the direction I want it to go. I kind of wanted to U-turn a bit and get back and have a little bit more fun like I used to. I think this last year I got too serious and too locked into trying to be a little bit of something I'm not as far as just locked down and in my reviews and stuff. And I want to get back. To, I haven't done like a brisket video and forever and I haven't done chopping tests and I haven't chunked a knife in over a year. I haven't thrown a knife at a cardboard box. And I want to get back to, to doing it. Thank you. Thank you very much for the congratulations. Yeah, I can do a collection update. That would be fun. I was actually going to do a, a review of my re first review, which I think was on a four max. So I was going to check that out. Yeah, I'm going to do a brisket review tonight. This one right here. Yeah. My most expensive knife going into the fleshy part of the brisket tonight. So I'll make a video video about that. But I just want to start having a little bit more fun. I got a little serious last year. It was really probably around the time of Harvey and stuff. And then Pythmus kind of overwhelmed me. And then just some different stuff going on. A whole review singing. All right, let me grab my guitar here. <coughs> it's always here just in case my neighbors want it. Damn. Four Max is awesome. Four Max for you. Thank you. Thank you, Dark Continent. Good night. All right, so that's all that. All right, so you know what? When I'm throwing knives at boxes, I just kind of close my eyes and scream a lot. Like, like, if Bruce Lee was a girl, that's what I like to do. 
<laughs> Thank you, Peach. I'm glad. It is not a Gibson. It is a Martin, in fact. It is way more guitar than I have the talent to own. Kind of like my knives. <clears throat> Beats, beers, bears, Battlestar Galactica, boxes, brisket, and blades. Beautiful. Well, there's some videos where I made the scream, so I'll definitely be bringing some fun back. I'm, I don't know. I listen to too much criticism. I think not, not like, hey, you gotta do this, but hey, quit doing that or hey, like this week somebody called me obnoxious, and I was thinking obnoxious. How am I obnoxious? And then I went and looked at the definition, and I could think, yeah, yeah, I could see that. I can see obnoxious if you didn't like me. I'm an acquired taste, like curry beer or something. All right, my opinion on Ganzo knives. I love Ganzo knives. I love Ganzo knives so much. They're 20 bucks, and you get a nice quality knife for 20 bucks. And, and I know a lot of people don't like them, or a lot of people complain about the 440C or whatever, but I've yet to see anybody just burn through 440C and not be able to strop it at the end of the day. So, yeah, Ganzo, they make some good action knives, especially their latest their latest renditions of whatever they're doing as far as the ones with the bearings, and they're just super smooth. Hold on, I think I have one around here. Extreme close-up. Let's see. Let me go through the box of haven't done it, what I'm supposed to do with this box yet. Drawer thing. Pull out a Ganzo. I need skinnier thumbs. Check this bad boy out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just drop shut. Got that shiny carbon fiber leather there. Orange and black. Very pumpkin-y. Very Halloween colors. But just, this one's light and action and bearings and everything. I mean, and you're going to get this for like 19, 20 bucks. How can you go wrong with something like that? No, I don't believe that, Doc. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe anybody would call you obnoxious, sir. Yeah, Gan Ganzo is a great value. Yeah, the 727 wood. That's pretty nice. I like the wood ones. Are you still hand holding? Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. I bought a new camera. I bought a little really cool logitech streaming camera and it works really good as long as i'm not on youtube i have some fantastic videos where i'm smiling and preening and looking good well not looking good but you know what i'm saying hey one i'm catching up on chat here guys so one second oh thank you myth guy appreciate it have the same one it's great yeah, listen to Jason. That's that's a cool blade. I don't know. Which one is this one? I, I bought a bunch of them at the same time. The numbers are confusing. They should call them names or something like that. No, oh, that's me. Ah! Turn it around before you lose your audience. All right, there we go. No, this is how it came. Just perfect. I didn't have to break this in at all. I haven't carried this at all. So this is how it came. Way, way looser and better action than the older Ganzos. So they listened to somebody and fixed it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end up gashing the carbon fiber on my thing here to show you action on my $20 knife. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry I had to do that. But you won't have mice in your house for at least three years now. It's like, it's a biblical, biblical thing. <clears throat> no, these springs aren't stiff at all. Check this out. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The old Ganzos, you kind of had to yank and just hope, hope your thumb held out while the spring inside gave way. Yeah, these are buttery smooth for sure. Hey, sick kitty. We're going back here and making sure to say hi to everybody here. All right, so here we go. All right, I think I'm caught up. 
Any ganzos left that don't have the flaming chicken? I don't think so. My phone is a uh, mm, good call. Good question. Let me see. VG seven thirty nine point six I don't know. It's a Samsung something or another. So I've, I've I'm getting tired of using it just because I can't use both hands and I know I'm shaking. I'm so scared of being on camera. Yeah, the quality's not horrible. I just if my arms weren't getting tired and I didn't have old man shoulders. Sometimes my shoulders feel crackly. Yeah, earthquake. Yeah, it's the VG10. It's the Samsung VG10, exactly. So just a step up from the Samsung HCR13. Tried to get the CPM154 Samsung. They were sold out. All right, so I think that's it. I'm going to do more live streaming. I think... As long as I'm not making jerky videos, I can keep the cursing to a minimum, so that shouldn't be a problem. More chopping, more cutting. I really want to interact with you guys more. That's kind of what I got into this about, especially with the Facebook. You didn't miss anything. I, I showed my face for half a second, lost half the audience. There was 150 people in here, and but besides that, you didn't miss anything, Happy Trigger. <clears throat> and I, I like interacting with you guys. Yes, the new Super Steel that they made the phone out of. Yeah, everybody's going to get a Pithmas box this year, just like Piff last year. So if you're signed up, see you there, Doc. Come back, come back. Yeah, I had one too many. I'll be up for 10, 10 hours straight. See you there, Doc, seriously. Yeah, there should be about 350 boxes going out this year, and I got a bunch to do tonight. My wife's going to help me. Around 350, sick kitty. That's what I'm right. I'm guessing at. So, all right, Bruce. Good. Don't leave yet. No, if I haven't, if I haven't re replied to you, then. Is because either I haven't got to you or I, I answered you on my, my phone. But I've replied to just about everybody. I would say 99% of people got replied to Blackwood. So, yeah, th this could be more than 200 this year. There's 200 last year, around 200 last year that we sent out. Oh, yeah, my wife is the best. She's just insanely awesome. Okay, Blackwood, I'll look for your email and check it out and get back to you. I'm looking for somebody else's email, too. So, Or you can just email me again, and I'll, I'll get back to you. That might be a little bit easier. Oh, that would be awesome, Bruce. We, we still need – my old phone was Chinese D2. It, uh, it didn't rust like my American, Chinese, my American D2 one did. Yeah, we need more PIF knives and stuff like that, so – so don't um, don't think that there's not room for stuff you send in. Definitely, I'm still filling up the pith knife box, and and as much as you send in is as much as I'm going to ship out. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to read as fast as I can, Peach. I don't want anybody to be left out. If I really don't. So if I've skipped over, it's just because it scrolled up before I I saw what you're doing. I can't wait for Piff. I will contact you for address this in. Oh, that would be awesome, Eugene. That sounds great. Good night, John. Thank you for showing up. I'm sorry I had to give you nightmare-inducing visions there for a second. Be safe, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Big Red EDC was there. Marshall was there. All the cool kids were there. Wally World Blades are perfect, Bruce. That's probably about 60% of what's going out in these boxes. This is just like getting something from somebody that cares about you. It's like when grandma sends you a birthday present, you're not sure if it's going to be, you know, 20, 50 bucks or her old teeth, but she knows she's thinking about you. Yeah, that'd be great, Mike. I appreciate it. I would appreciate anything that comes in. Hey, Flint Steel, 
Cool. Good to see you, sir. And if if I haven't got back to you on anything, seriously, if I haven't got back to you an email, if I haven't got back to you on here, it's not because I'm not trying. I really want to get back to everybody as long as is possible, as much as possible. So, yeah, JT, that, I missed meeting him. I really wanted to meet him. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He does some really cool stuff. So, yeah, there was some definite stuff I wanted to get to that I didn't, wasn't able to make it. But maybe we can get a uh, gathering of folks at Blade Show, the regular Blade Show this year, and get something going there. That would be fun. Super fun. Email really works better because then I'm, I'm trying to centralize the, the information for PIF so I don't have to go searching everywhere. And it's not anything personal against you or Instagram or anything. It just helps if it's emailed. Good night, Eugene. Oh, well, take it easy tomorrow as much as possible. Thank you for showing up. Yeah, Flint Strikers. Stuff like that is cool. All that kind of stuff. Oh, you're welcome, Blackwood. It's, everybody here is, is just a part of it, and that's pretty cool. That's what's really cool is everybody's here. You like that Ganjo? Yeah, I'll be sending that out in PIF or giveaway or something. This won't be with me for long. If only you could have one knife, what would it be? You know what? If it had to be a folding knife, I think that's when it that's it right there. I think that's the one. I think this is four max. Built like a tank, M390 steel. You know, and the, the honest God truth, folks, if you got this one, you got everything this one can do. And this is not a ain't saying anything about the customs because the customs are awesome. But this thing is locked up, got that triad lock, got the 20 CV, got the same kind of grip and handle just about as this one. That's all. I mean, that's that's the difference. But if I had to choose just one, it would be this one. And if I didn't have this one, if I could only carry one production knife, it would be that one. The Cold Steel Formax. I can't think of anything this thing can't do for you. Yeah, yeah. I've talked about my wife and stuff. And, you know, she's all into marrying the knife as well. And then she hit me upside the head with a frying pan, asked me what my problem was, told me to take my medication. She's feisty for a smaller gal. Yeah, Blackwood, that'd be great. Anything you ship out is going to be super appreciated. Good night, Sick Kitty. I hope I didn't miss you. Band-Aids, great. Yeah, Band-Aids are, are great. They're like great throw-in stuff. You get a spare form, actually. Yeah, if I get a spare one, it's coming your way, sir. Definitely. Oh, yeah, that was really cool. It worked out really well. I wanted it to be a lot more dark, a lot darker, and I took it out too early, and I just kind of liked that faded purple-blue jean thing. I'm trying. I'm trying, Flint. I'm trying to, to uh, get that Formax information out there. Good night, Blitz. You know, you don't need 400 bucks anymore, Rain. You can find the four maxes in the 240, 250 range. They're showing up a lot more in that range. I, I don't even, you know, if you're spending 400 nowadays for a four max, unless it's like this one, like a Gen 1, if you want a Gen 1, you're probably going to spend around 400. But after that, you, yeah, like Flint said, you can get one for a couple bills. Well, if you if you haunt the blade forums and Reddit and stuff like that, you have, you can find one. There's some really reputable guys on eBay. Uh, what's that one guy's name? He sells them for in the 240 range, and then eBay will have a a like a coupon, and you get the coupon and you add it to that, and you're in the 200 range, you know, 220 range. So, all right. Welcome back, Doc. Let's see here. 
Uh, hold on one second. I gotta check something real quick. Oh, dude. Dang. I just got that. I, that's crazy. I'll talk to you about that in a second. Awesome. You know what I'm talking about, sir. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That one guy, Billiam Squilliam. Yeah, Billiam Squilliam. That's him. Joey Jojo. Good night, Joey Jojo. That's him. No, Bo, Bo, Botac, B-O-T-A-C-H. I think that's who it is. Botac, and he'll have an or best offer down at the bottom. And then if that comes up, offer him like around 200, 190, and he'll say two. And then you apply the coupon, and you're just sneaking in right around two bills, like uh, Flint Steele said. Shabadoo. That's right. <laughs> jo -jo -jo. That's the stupidest name I ever heard. Supper chat. That would help with the pip stuff. What's supper chat? I don't understand what that means, Nate. All right, Rain. Sounds good. We'll see you in a second. Oh, I love Lynn Thompson. You know why I love Lynn Thompson? is because he loves knives. And Greg Medford, I love Lynn Thompson. I love Lynn. <laughs> Lynn Thompson was really cool, and I really love his passion for knives. I think Medford's a little, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. I want to fight Medford. or Not that he would even care what I have to say. All right, what well, people donate to PayPal during live streams? You know what? I don't have that set up. I didn't want to seem like I was trying to squeak, squeeze money out of folks. If you want to really be recognized, give me $5, and I'll answer any question you have. There's a stake in my boot. <laughs> yeah, Marshall, that's the whole thing. You just get the idea that Lynn Thompson's at home playing with his knives like, like you are, or I am. No, I wasn't speaking Lord Medford's name in vain. I didn't even know he was a lord. There's only one lord. Lord and Savior Andrew Demko. So, I'm sorry. But, yeah, maybe he's like a demi-lord or something like that. You know what? He was real nice to me. He shook my hand. Put me in one of his videos. Yeah. We're, we're buddies. He's going to call me tomorrow. No, he's not. He's not, he's not going to call me at all. But I am in one of his videos, so if you can go check me out. Looking handsome and chunky. <clears throat> hey, Sadistically so Shark. Cool. Good to see you. He's been around forever. Sadistically so Shark. Been around forever. And every once in a while, I pull out that crazy knife you got me and just go out and chop something. That thing's still awesome. Oiled up and ready for battle. Yeah, he yeah he called me Sweetums and kissed me on the the head wrinkle. He loves me. I'm like his pet Sharpe, his Mexican Sharpe, Sharp Hexican. <clears throat> All right, so if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'll be on here for a little bit longer. I don't want to keep y'all too long. Oh, yeah, this is so much fun. You know what? And getting to talk to y'all is way more fun. This live streaming stuff is so much way cooler. It just puts us on more of a, I don't know, like an even setting as opposed to me just knives and what they can do for you. Let me get into this. This is the four max. You know, I get to answer questions, and it would be cool to do a live review, and somebody says, well, check this out. I sure would like a close-up of this, or can you check the action out? Can you see if it drops? What will this do? And that would be awesome. I think that would be a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's really cool. And it, it's the whole reason I set up Facebook was so that we could all interact over there on an even, you know, even platform and everybody could show their stuff. And I realize here that not everybody can show the stuff, but you can ask me questions or tell me what's going on. Hey, Chris, good to see you. We're all doing good. As far as I know, nobody's complained yet. They're... Yes, this weekend I'm gonna be uh, piffling stuff. So save your save your money for this weekend. There's gonna be some awesome piffles going on. 
Yeah. Yeah, any kind of extra money goes straight to the blades. The camera I'm using is the camera on my phone, and I don't know what my camera is, which is pretty weak, I know. I could get up and show you. Hold on one second. I'll get up and grab the box from my camera, and I'll let you know what it is. Hey, Chad, thanks for showing up. Woo! Now it's a party. Our camera is... The LG, it's on the LG something, the V30 from LG. So this is a V30 camera, if that helps. The Bravo machete, that's going into the brisket tonight too. So you'll see how that thing slices. And I'm going to slice it up tomorrow with that Bravo machete just to show you. Yeah, sugar-free chocolate. That'll mess you up. But it's so good. It's like the gummy bears. Holy heck. Yeah, Chad is... Uh, I would stay away from saying what Chad's going to do. He's very litigious from what I hear. All right, so... Yeah, I like to do the reflection in my toaster. It's like a funhouse mirror. It makes me look skinnier. My. Guns and cocaine. <laughs> You heard it here, folks. First. Yeah, the Russell Stovers. Yeah, those will, those will leave you locked in the restroom for a while. Those are bad. Yeah, I talked to Lynn Thompson at Blade Show, the regular Blade Show, and he was just so nice. And, you know, I, think, I know a lot of people think he's one way or the other. I think the guy's just on fire about knives, on fire about sharp stuff, on fire about his company. You know, he's grew up kind of a smaller dude and got into martial arts and he's not, he's not humble about his brashness, but there's a certain humility in, in the way he is brash. I don't know if that makes sense. He just, he's real nice in a face to face, just a nice guy. Yeah, it is. The Kaiser Kesmic. If you haven't got one of those coupons, go get one. That's a crazy deal on that. Yeah, you know what? Let me tell you what the evil drug is. Adderall. Holy heck. Whew, you want to see the future? Take one of those. That's a good time. I'm going to get kicked off of the internet now. Over on Jimmy Slash, he's advocating for Adderall use. Yeah, that Kesmic is a really good deal at 32 bucks. They have the black one that was on a daily deal today for 42 I think, something like that. So, yeah, it's a good good deal. I probably shouldn't have worked out shoulders this morning. Holy heck. Oh, Sicario. How'd you like that second one compared to the first one? I thought it was more of a Kind of an action flick the second time around. Oh, Flaming Hot Cheetos. My son loves those. We'll go over to the corner store to get dessert, you know, a little frozen ice cream, or as opposed to not frozen ice cream, which I think is called milk. But anyways, we'll get some ice cream or some candy, and he always grabs Cheetos just for his dessert. So, yeah, he loves those things. Yeah, it was great. And you know what? A lot of people, I'm not going to, you know, I can't get into it. I'll text you, but. Yeah, never mind. I hate people that ruin movies. You know that one part that you, you have to wait through the whole movie to see? That thing where you do that thing? That, so I won't do that to you guys, but yeah. It was a good flick. Oh, you know what was not a good flick? I don't know if we're going to talk about movies or what here, but I'm going to tell you real quick. Solo. Holy heck. Oh, the big head dog leg colossus. You know what? If that thing was built a little bit better, that would have been a great knife. If it was locked up, you know, just a little bit better, just a, the chunk of it all would, would be awesome. Yeah, guns and freedom. Yeah, we can talk about, you know, drugs and stuff. Yeah, Solo was serious. And I'm not going to ruin If you're a big Star Wars fan, I don't know how old you have to be to not appreciate Solo, but I'm thinking like 35 and under, you're 
They're 35 and over. Solo is just going to probably kill your soul. So, yeah. My newest blade. Let me look around here. I think my newest blade is. Oh, well, I showed it the other night, but since you asked, and since we're old friends, and I can't say no to an old friend, I will show you again. All right? I don't know. I'm going to have to pull this all out off camera because I don't have a monkey tail. All right. Yeah, yeah. She's she's not hard to look at, the mother of dragons. But, and she's an actress, too. Just, I don't know. You'd have to see it to understand. This is my newest blade. This is a custom bushcraft knife from Poland. Yeah, there's a D2. Look at the thickness of that thing. Sharp as you can imagine. Comes with this really cool leather case. And it comes with a really cool presentation box that I can't show because I only have one hand at a time. Yeah, Polish D2. I don't know how that compares to Chinese D2 or American D2. The next knife that I'm chasing, I can't tell you. But holy freak, I want to tell you. Holy cow, you cannot believe the knife I'm after. And that is honest guy truth. I'm not just hyping, but I'm not allowed to say it. But it's crazy awesome. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it doesn't beat German D2, that's for sure. It's not going to... Yeah, the German D2 definitely beats up the Polish D2. <laughs> All right, I guess. All right. So, anybody chasing the knife out there? Anybody got something cooking or that y'all want to look at? Or y'all hoping to get in? Oh, here's another knife I wanted to look at. Hold on one second. I know it's dark, but we're here together. Since we're here, might as well show you this knife. I got this knife in. Yeah, D2, D3, whatever it is. There you go. Frank understands the Mr. Mom references. Check this knife out. This was on sale over at Midway on the clearance, and I grabbed it because really good deal, and I don't know anything about the knife itself, but I got it, and it's really cool. He doesn't believe in knives anymore. Who hurt you, Doc? We need to get them on the phone. Talk to them. An Alamic. Oh, yeah. Like a Wayfair? One of those? This is the Wilson Combat. Check that out. That's Coco Bolo wood. So nice. So shiny. So light. Oh, yeah. Benchmade Infidel. I love that knife. That's, that is the mother of all out the front. The best out the front. Benchmade Infidel. You're not going to beat that for sure. Definitely. Definitely not going to beat the Benchmade Infidel. <laughs> well, you got to look at the title of the video, sir. <laughs> oh, the valet is really nice. You know, I, that Civivi is not bad. It's not a bad knife. I, I haven't done a review on mine, so I'm not going to get into all my opinions on it. But, yeah. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, yeah. I know what that's like, Chris. Check out my Loco video. I took a big old chunk out of my Loco. <clears throat> that's where I got the uh, fatty. The hinderer fatty is from Love Them Nice. He has some really good deals sometimes. <laughs> Here I go. That and my drug speech and... <laughs> and the Polish jokes, the channel's done. You have to come up under another new name. I like the Spyderco Birch Chubby. Those are nice. Oh, that's cool. Tank, come. Next time you're giving knives away like that. That's pretty cool. That's really nice of you. <clears throat> All right, I think that's it. I think I've kept you all pretty long. I'm really sorry. I'm going to get this camera thing figured out so it's not shaking all around like we're on a cruise somewhere. 
<laughs> Captain Stibbing to the Lido deck. Yeah, you don't get any strikes. You're done. <laughs> the no strike ban. I did it. I earned one. Ooh. What are you going to sell that one for? The Microtech Stormtrooper. I had one of those, but my Stormtrooper had a naked geisha lady on it. Not that it was, you know, better, but it was different. It still had the Stormtrooper logo, though, on the clip. That's how I knew. Duct tape with selfie sticks, you guess. That makes sense. Hey, Jet Fuel. Good to see you. We'll stick around a little bit longer. We can stick around a little bit longer. My shoulders got a couple more minutes in them. <laughs> Doc's trying to get me kicked out of the internet. <laughs> oh, it's good. Thanks for showing up right off work. Appreciate it, Phil. That's awesome. Did you get it in yet, Tim? Have they have they shipped them out or are you just waiting for it? I was really thinking about getting one. I was thinking about getting one, and I just didn't pull the trigger. I don't know if they have any left. I probably should grab one just to check it out. You know, I have a problem with that. I have a problem checking out what the cool the cool things are sometimes, unless it's something I want. It's kind of hard to get hyped up about reviewing knives. and I need to remember that I'm not carrying the hype for all knives. I just got to get some of the stuff that everybody else likes, too. Oh, dang. All right, well, maybe... I can grab one on the secondary market. The Stormtrooper. Rikosma has the Stormtrooper. I think that's what I was looking at. Rikosma has the Stormtrooper. Yeah, me too, Marshall. I, I quit all the time. I quit three or four times yesterday. Yeah. I think I went two days or three days last week without actually buying a knife. And I was really proud of myself, so I bought me a knife. <clears throat> All right, we, I think we're winding down a little bit. I wish I could have done more. If, if I had my hands free, I could bring out different knives and show you. And, but right now, it's just kind of, oh, dang. When the apocalypse comes, I'm going to Chad's house. If I can make it through the zombies on the highway and make it to Chad's house. I'm going up there to live. I'll just live in his driveway. That's good, Marshall. It, of course, it depends on which three you bought, but that's still showing a lot of restraint, and I think you should be proud and buy yourself another knife as well. Oh, are you talking the white black 0452 run? Holy heck. I, that thing's in a... It's in the... Uh, what you call it right now? It's in the cart somewhere. I have about $1,200 of knives and carts all around the internet. Nine millimeter is feminine. Oh. All right. I didn't say it. I'm just reading the stuff here. I'm not responsible for the words coming out of my mouth. Oh, did you get the small Mora? The, was it the Eldridge or the Elder or Melder? <laughs> yeah, I know, Thomas. Yeah, oh, no, he didn't. I only have uh, a couple of guns right now. Do you get more? Every time I go to the gun store, I think about knives. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see Chad's answer on the stamp. I'm sorry I went quiet there for a little bit. Chad, do you have a stamp? Waiting for the range. Okay. That'd be cool to find out how horrible that is to get. Of course, with somebody of your your position and stuff, that might be a little bit easier. So, that's awesome. Okay, cool. That sounds like a cool Mora. 
That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Dang gum, you're you're like the coolest person, Chad. I tell my kids to grow up to be like you all the time. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm serious. <clears throat> hey, Ashton, how you doing out there? Ashton, good to see you. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to get off here. It's been 45 minutes of keeping you all around. I really appreciate you all being patient with me and, and sticking around. And I really want to do this some more. And it means a lot that you all are showing up and I get to talk with you guys. And, you know, y'all talking back, which is the best. Seriously, it's the best. It's awesome. This is what it's all about. <laughs> all right. Well, Ashton, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, Ashton sounds cool. Thank you, Rikosma. Thank you, Chris. Oh, Doug. All right, well, stick around for one more minute, Doug. Do you have a question? I can't can't go on that. Just one more question. I can do a question. Oh, it's good to see you, Flint. Thank you for showing up. Appreciate it. No questions from Doug. My full four nine nine. What's huh? <clears throat> three two nine two nine oh four nine nine four nine nine four nine nine four nine nine four all right, I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Thomas, for showing up. Thank you, Patrick, and thank you, Peach. And I will talk to y'all later. Thank you so much, really. I appreciate it.